Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Man Up. Um, and we're going to cover a quote by Seneca. Seneca said, or he wrote, No man is more unhappy than he who never faces adversity, for he is not permitted to prove himself. Now one thing you have to rem- uh, remember about Seneca, or you have to know about Seneca, is that he was incredibly rich, extremely rich. He was a businessman in Rome who had a ton of money. And that's why he's a great example. Because here in the West, technically worldwide, if you're making 30 grand a year, you're considered rich worldwide. Now, I know it's different with um, cost of living. Like, for example, I moved to I moved to Calgary from Vancouver. Actually, that's not a good example because it's about the same cost of living. Anyway, in Canada, depending on where you are, it's pretty expensive to live. So it's different than living somewhere else in the world, like South America where I was last year. Um, but that being said, if you're making 30 grand a year compared to the rest of the world, you're considered rich. So especially in the West where we have a lot of the things that we need within reach and it's, it's relatively affordable, we live pretty good lives. So Seneca is a good example because at that time, um, Rome was very rich. He was very rich, but the rest of the world was, was struggling and, uh, and Seneca is a guy that saw the value in something like this quote. No man is more unhappy than he who never faces adversity for he is not permitted to prove himself. He saw the value in hardship. He saw the value in having to overcome obstacles. And I know that we all see this value. We all understand this value that obstacles are something we need in our lives because this is where growth happens. But how do you create obstacles? We need more of them in our lives. We need more tribulation. We need more roadblocks. We need more hard times. I know it sounds horrible, but it's in hard times. Even in my own life, it's in hard times where I learn. It's in hard times where, as he says, I'm permitted to prove myself. I'm permitted to gain real confidence that comes from... That comes from overcoming things that we were a bit nervous that we could not overcome or things that we genuinely did not think that we could overcome that's true confidence true confidence doesn't come from abs doesn't come from making a lot of money doesn't come from ah, whatever society tells us that true confidence comes from true confidence comes from accomplishment and it's accomplishment over things that we fear accomplishment over audacious goals where we're going to gain the most confidence. So how do you face more adversity in your life? For one, set bigger goals. Grant Cardone, I think, has the 10x book. I like that rule when setting goals 10 times everything. You'll find if you set a goal that you want to make $10,000 more in a year, 10 times it by 10 and try to make $100,000. You're going to fall short. Or if you fall short, you're then going to fall short, but still you're going to succeed past that 10,000 goal. By putting yourself out there, by extending yourself, by setting more audacious goals, you are going to put yourself in more dicey situations. Even hiking. When you set out to hike, I'm going to go to the mountains tomorrow probably in the Rockies there. When you set out to hike a longer route, a more treacherous route, uh, you then put yourself in more dicey situations and you force yourself to have to conquer these things. Conquer fears, conquer tiredness, conquer pain, conquer fatigue, tiredness, fatigue. Um, And so set bigger goals. But then the other thing that you have to do in your life, and this is something that very few of us want to do, is set boundaries and disciplines on our lives. Set hardships on our day-to-day lives so you look at a guy like Seneca Seneca is a good example he wore cloths he wore bare feet in the streets he lived a very um confined not confined because confined isn't the right word he actually lived a freer life because he wasn't dependent on the things that most people are dependent on to get become happy it's like I'll use an example it's a it's a friend let's say um, she's not doing well financially, but man, she wastes money on the stupidest things. 
just to get that feeling of happiness. I've done the same thing. Wasted money on the stupidest, th- stupidest things just to get that feeling of happiness. That's not real happiness. That's a bit of joy, a bit of pleasure, but it, it's fleeting. You don't want to be dependent on those quick buys that need to click a button on Amazon, that need to go to a store and buy something, that need to have a, tr- a new truck, a new house, all these different things, stuff in your life to get happiness and Seneca knew that if you're dependent on these things for happiness you're dependent on something you're not in control of your life and so we have to add disciplines into our life disciplines into our life restrictions into our life so we can be free another guy to look at is Jocko Willink I'll put a link to his Twitter uh, account what he does is he's a son of a bitch sorry about that I thought that thing was on mute fucking shit Anyway, so Jocko Willink, at the beginning of every day, he takes a picture of his watch and it's 4.30, whatever, that he is is rising, he's getting up and he does, he works out first thing to feel pain. That guy's a former Navy SEAL, he's incredibly uh, focused and disciplined in his life, but he sees, he always says discipline is freedom. Seneca, the same thing, discipline is freedom. The more discipline, the more hardship you put on your life. The more pain you experience, the tougher you'll become, and the more free you are to experience adventure, set audacious goals, and really hustle and accomplishment, accomplish them. So set more parameters on your life. Wake up earlier. Work out harder. Work out every day. Don't get caught up in the desires of our society, wanting to buy new clothes, buy new things and stuff, and fill our houses with all this bullshit. Um... Set these parameters on your life in order to create more tribulation and set bigger goals and you will we, you will face more tribulation, greater tribulation. And that's where you're going to prove yourself. That's where you're going to show yourself a man. That's where you're going to be able to man up and take control of your life, take control of your thoughts and go against the grain and really get after these goals. A part of that quote again, no man is more unhappy than he who never faces adversity for he is not permitted to prove himself, is realizing that the hardships in your life aren't bad things. You have to go through all these hardships, and I know it's easy to say when we're not in them, but you have to go through all these hardships knowing that there's a purpose, even if that purpose is to make you tougher. No matter what it is you're facing, there's a purpose in it. And that purpose may be to make you a tougher, more resilient person, even if that's the only purpose. So you just got to keep for keep moving forward one step at a time and realize that hardship and adversity is good. It's what gives you life. It's what allows you to live. It's what allows you to acquire toughness. And most importantly, it's what allows you to prove yourself. That's the essence of what it means to man up. Hope you had a great, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the episode. Below I've got a uh, a link for you to sign up to the newsletter. I'll, I'll tell you when these podcasts show up. I've got a free uh, ebook for you as well. So click that link below um, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.